Now we will be looking at the flashcard quiz problem. We will have a deck of flashcard quiz questions. Then the program will prompt or ask the user input for an answer. And then at the end of the program, we will check and mark how many right and wrongs there were. This is just simply how we play with a flashcard when we are studying for a quiz. The algorithm is very simple and as follows. We will take a, we will take an array which will have some options, option 1, option 2, option 3. And it will also contain the value which will be the correct answer. And then the user letter will be the one, uh, the one that the user has inputted. And then we will check if the option is equal, if the user letter inputted, hmm, user letter inputted is equal to the answer. If it is, then we will increase the correct count or else we will increase the wrong count. In this manner, we can keep track of how many rights and wrong we had uh, we have done. Dive into the code. We have imported random as usual. This is a new thing that we are trying to do. We are trying to make sure that the string input works with Python 2 or Python 3. As you must know by now that in Python 2, it requires raw input, whereas in Python 3, it just requires input. This will work with both Python 2 or Python 3. Here, we are making a dictionary. We are making a 2D array. And this is the 1D array in the 2D array. This is what we did. This is my keyword. And this and these three are the list of options and this is the answer if you refer back to the algorithm this is the uh, this is how we're defining our keyword because this is an array the index is as follows black is 0 yellow is 1 and blue is 2 we know that the color of the sun is yellow which is why the correct answer is 1 the index at 1 Similarly, for water, the correct answer is blue, the index is 2, and so on. We defined a few lists here. Now, we are making a list. This is how we make a list. We use a keyword list, and then we type in the, uh, and then we type in the array that we want to put in. In this case, it's my dict dot keys. This is how we make a key uh, a list. Now we are randomly shuffling the we are randomly shuffling the keyword list so that the user can view any one of the option randomly. It's not that the sun will always come first and the water will always come second. This option, the the option that will be viewed to the user will be uh, random. We will see when we run the program. But this we do it with shuffle. We shuffle the list. We set the counters for correct and wrong is equal to zero. And then for each keyword in keyword list, we do the following. I will explain what this is. Uh, okay, now I will explain what this is. This is a variable and we want to print in this format. Okay, what, what do we want to print here first? We want to print the keyword. What do we want to print here in this A section? We want to print the keyword at zero. What do we want to print here? The keyword at one. And what do we want to print here? The keyword at two. Here, every letter that we input, we uh, we uh, we convert it to uppercase so that it's easier to um, do a matching to run a match here. Now, if the letter that the user has inputted is equal to the third letter of the keyword of the key, of the dictionary in keyword, that is, if it's equal to one, two, or zero. If it matches, 
we increase the correct count and if it doesn't match then we increase the wrong count here if letter is equal to a b c this portion here means a corresponds to 0 b corresponds to 1 and c corresponds to 2 and then now we can check here we are printing the final thing again and this is the format that the answer we're going to give the answer here it means number of correct and number of wrong and this is what it will print you might be a little bit confused with this formatting thing if you have not learned this before but it will be very clear once we run the program now let me run the program it says pick the right color for the following coal a black b uh, b purple c red now let us come back to this section here coal is the keyword which is what it printed for a it's black coal here and if we check with the array for coal we can see that coal is the keyword and the first option is black which is printed in place of a the second option is purple which is printed with b the third option is red which is printed with c so this is how this uh, thing works and it because we're doing it for every keyword in the key uh, in the keyword list this will do it for all the following now let me enter a uh, choice let me say cool black okay now it goes to the next one it shows me what color is water let me input a wrong one let me write um, a uh, now let me guess the color of grass let me do correct here all right b um, and then now the sun which is again b okay let me do a wrong one here and enter c here the number of correct is two so it prints two correct and the number of wrong was two wrongs so two wrongs you can do this in uh, i mean i uh, i put this in the series so that you understand a method of how to do formatting how you can make lists out of arrays um yeah and also you can import this entire dictionary uh, from a text file i hope you should i mean i think you should try that but so this is this for this uh, program.